Hello everyone, this is Dr. Peter Trezop and wanted to do this video for the Education Channel. I was given the opportunity today to see a Facebook post uh, about me and the teaching that I do. And I was, I was really impressed with it. At first I thought maybe it would be a really negative thing and I was kind of worried about it and I was like, oh great, someone's complaining. But then when I started reading it, I said, okay, let's just read everything. I mean, there was a lot of students that got involved with this on a Facebook page. And I really was impressed that students actually, there was a number of them that stood up and said, no, that's not exactly what's going on here. Um, basically, the bottom line was a student had made a comment about being harder on the grading. And, and, that's, and that's fine, and that's their right. And they were complaining about uh, their grade and how they get basically, how they felt like I was grading harder, and it's causing them stress, and that's fine. But what was interesting was, is once this discussion started going, a uh, number of students who, uh, and I know I've had them in class because I've seen them in class, and I won't mention names because it's, it, while they made it public, I'm not going to use names. And they stood up and they said, no, you know, he does have a high standard, but he's always available. He's always, he will take phone calls. He will t discuss things with you. It was very, it was very refreshing to see that. And then once they stood up, then the comments started kind of ameliorating. They started kind of getting a little less aggressive. And what was interesting about it, though, it hit every point I wanted, was, yes, I do have a higher standard. I do want students to do the best they can, and I want them to be pushed. I want them to do better than what they think they can do. Uh, it reaches the other point that, yes, there are professors who don't care, and there's some that really could care less if you can write or not. Uh, if you cannot write, and you can't cite sources, and you can't find sources, then it's really hard to read what you're writing. Uh, some s students get the fact that I will grade APA like I'm supposed to, but that I do talk in APA terms how to fix it. Goldilocks effect, four to six sentences, not too long, not too short, just right. Why that's important is it's an APA step, so some students get confused, well, he's grading APA, but I'm showing you the step on how to do better and how to develop that paragraph. Uh, how to cite sources, how to cite them and develop work. All these things are important. So my point being is, is that if you're in my class or have been, you know those things come out of my mouth just like that. So it was very, very refreshing. What I liked especially was uh, a couple of students who really sat there and said that, you know, professor took a phone call, talked to me. I have countless emails where that is just not normal, and, and, and I do take that with pride. Uh, does that add hours to my week? But I think it's good hours to my week. Um, but at the end of the day, I think the best thing to note is, is that if students are complaining about how hard they were pushed, I think that's a good thing. Meaning they got out of their comfort zone, they were shown that they should work on their writing, their research, and their analysis. Uh, just because someone says something's great and you, you hear that enough and enough, doesn't mean it actually is. And sometimes it's good to have somebody that says, you can do better and this is how you can do better. Um, you're going to have some professors that are soft, and you're going to have some that are very rigid. You're going to have some that will give you zero support, and you will have some that give you all the support. Every professor is different, and maybe one type of professor is better in one type of course or some level of course, and, and that's where the beautiful blend of education comes in. But I just want to say that to the students that uh, made the compl like not complaints, but really made some uh, statements, I do appreciate that because that reinforces that I've pushed those students to another level and a higher level and that they've really achieved it. I do feel like I disappointed some by not really making it clear or maybe they just didn't understand that APA is different from APA steps, okay? I can just tell you to improve, enhance, and expand. That's the typical cut and paste response people get, but I really try to explain that in detail. Maybe that wasn't clear or it wasn't perceived as the way it should be. But having said that, I'm very proud of the students that while it would have been easy to ignore it or step aside or agree, they actually stepped up and said, no, this is the best professor that I've ever had. And that was really nice. I don't need an ego stroke, but it was just very nice to see students stand up and then watch how the discussion started taking a different tone. And that really meant a lot to me. So having said that, uh, I do uh, encourage students and professors, uh, stand up for what you believe. I think most people can respect that. Uh, set your standards, set your expectations. Uh, don't base it off other people. Uh, if other people are not doing the right thing, that doesn't mean you have to join them. If you want to be a checklist professor, like a checklist student, 
there's plenty of jobs for you out there. I promise you, you you'll, you'll be able to survive. But I just fully believe that I do this because I love to do it. And I do it not because I have to, but because I want to. And that has really made my day. So I appreciate the administrator sent it to me. Won't use his name. Didn't want, don't want to call anybody out. But that really, really made my day. I appreciate it and best of luck.